I'd like to talk about potentially the best what's in the bag I think I've ever seen. I'd like to do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. And second of all, please make sure you don't leave before you do hit that subscribe button. And if you want to ring the notification bell, that'll tell you every time I upload new content, which is every day. In today's video, we're talking inside Steve Stricker's golf bag. It gets more exciting than that though. You see, Steve Stricker has just won the US Senior Open, which is a major on the seniors tour, by six shots over David Toms. And I suppose that's not the surprising bit. The surprising thing is the golf clubs are used to win the tournament. Now, before we take a look at exactly which golf clubs are used, I guess there's a couple of things we need to address. So guys, make sure you hit those comments below. What is the oldest golf club in your bag? Mine are all pretty new to be fair, but there isn't a golf club on this planet that if he wanted, he couldn't have. He could have any Circle T putter, Scotty Cameron, he could have any driver, Titleist. He's a Titleist ambassador, remember? But let's take a look at the clubs he actually used to win. And it may open a few eyes. Let's start with the short stick. Was he using one of the modern day futuristic tailor-made Spider X putters? No, obviously not, because he's a Titleist player. So he must have been using a mega expensive Titleist Circle T Tour only special edition putter, right? Wrong. He was using an Odyssey White Hot 2 putter, which is pretty much probably as old as me. I think I actually remember using one as a junior. And this sets a trend throughout the bag. What about wedges? What kind of wedges was he using in his bag? Obviously he's a Titleist player, so he's going to be using the brand new Titleist Vokey SM7 wedges, right? Because they're going to be best for his game. Wrong. He was using the Titleist SM6 wedges and even an SM4 wedge in there as well. Maybe I should go older. Might work for me. So it just goes to show that the latest wedge, the latest putter, it all means nothing, but you would expect them to have the latest irons, the latest driver. What do you think? Oh, you think if you could have anything, you'd have the best and the latest. Absolutely, but maybe the latest isn't the best. No. Okay, so essentially starting to catch my drift as to why this video could be so interesting. Okay, he uses an old putter, he uses old wedges, that's fine. Surely he's gonna have the latest irons in the bag, right? Titleist AP2s? Again, wrong. Now this is where it gets really interesting because he's not only using maybe a set of Titleist 712 AP2s or he has actually been using new clubs at the start of this season but decided he didn't like them. So he went back to a set of 11 year old Titleist 755 forged. 11 years old. Oh. His 17 degree hybrid, believe it or not, is his newest club in the bag. That's an 817H1, again by a Titleist. And if that's his newest club in the bag, how old's his driver? Hmm. I guess the real big thing for me with a pro golfer using old equipment isn't that it's a pro golfer using old equipment, but it's a senior pro golfer using old equipment. You'd think that a senior golfer, well, a senior's tour golfer, would be wanting to get the most out of their equipment, maximise the distance, and then go and wipe the floor with the field by six shots in a major. Hmm. Now, where are we up to in Steve's bag? Must be up to the three wood. The three wood, you'd expect him to be using a brand new Titleist TS2, TS3 three wood. No, Titleist 915F, again four years old. Now I guess the only real club left to mention will be the big dog. And surely now with Titleist having four drivers out, Steve Stricker's gonna find a driver that suits him TS1, 2, 3 or 4, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> The driver in Steve Stricker's bag, the big dog, the club that keeps gaining yards after yards after yards every season and the club that people spend now upwards of £500 on? A Titleist 913 D3. 913. I mean, I had a 910 as a junior. 913 D3. Steve.
913 D3. 913 D3 in eight and a half degrees. Wow. The one piece of equipment left to discuss in Steve Stricker's bag is the golf ball. He's still using his trusty old Titleist Pro V1X. I've got no idea what year from, probably about 1992. But there is a big lesson we can all learn from this what's in the bag. And that big lesson is, if Steve Stricker doesn't need the latest golf clubs to win a major championship, albeit a seniors major championship, we have to ask ourselves the question, do we need the latest technology to win the monthly medal, to win the Thursday Stableford, to win the competition that you're playing in for the school? Or do you need hard work, grit, determination, and just 14 clubs that suit your eye and have worked for you in the past? Because that seems to work for him. So guys, I guess the lesson that we have to learn here is don't rush into buying something that's brand new and shiny just because it's brand new and shiny. Now, I've got no doubt that Steve Stricker may have tried these new clubs on a Trapman, tried them on a launch monitor, and he may well have seen gains with the, he may well have seen distance gains with the driver and spin gains with the irons and hold more putts, probably not hold more putts, but you get what I mean. It just doesn't seem to suit him on the golf course. So he makes sure that he is 100% happy with the golf clubs he's using on the golf course. And for me, that's the biggest lesson that we can learn from this. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed that. That for me has been the best what's in the bag I think I've ever seen. We can learn so much from it. All you need are clubs that suit your game, that suit your performance and that suit your eye. Guys, if you've enjoyed that, make sure you smash that subscribe button below. Leave a like if you've enjoyed the content as always. Hit those comments below, guys. What is the oldest golf club in your bag? And as always, I'll see you tomorrow.